<laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, you know, me? Oh, um, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. Uh, the same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action at Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Look out, bandit! Cut the rope, Irish. We're sitting duck here. Oh, my good lord. You ain't getting another penny out of me. And these fellas for a nasty grudge. Let's go with the river. They'll have to stop chasing us eventually. I stashed some ammunition near the back of the raft. Grab it if you're running low. I'd give a cow if I was you. Sakes alive. I'm warning you! Back the hell down! <laughs> well, I'm going to go backwards. Ain't you got some peckers to be sucking? Just run off home! So much more warm Mexican welcome! Look out for those two fellow under horses! That's the pillar! Take the tons of trumpets! This would be a fair fight if you could shoot straight! For the love of God! Kill these ungrateful bastards, man! Look left, on top of the cliff! You must be taking another Irish fella! God damn it! Exactly the reception I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. I see ya. What the hell did you do to these fellas? I was told it was something to do with money. And possibly some misunderstanding about a fellow's daughter, but the details escaped. Nobody shoots the diamonds in late. What 
Your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What's oh, that, poke? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of myself and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? They're still coming behind that big rock! You gotta go wrong! this country and they're already trying to kill me. Well, you will insist on fraternizing with the notorious Irish outlaw. There's the idiot. Well, I'll be bothered backwards. There's the bastard. Good to hand it off here. Make your life worth living. This should make things interesting. Oh, my good lord. Watch the top of that cliff! They're shooting down on us! Go to hell, you dumb fucking bastard! There he is! For the love of God! Ain't you got some peckers to be sucking? There's a dirty row of dynamite! Wait for the night! What's the word for cunt in Spanish? You tell me. You must have been called it a few times. Heads up! More of them up on the cliff for the left! Irish. I told you they knew me in Mexico, didn't I? 
You must be taking up another angry fella! Look up, fella! You're on top of the cliff! Escapades, Johnny boy, I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. There's a beach coming up on the left. Hang on, we'll be on dry land soon. God damn it, there's another two. <laughs> Go to hell, you dumb bundling bastards. We made it, thank the Lord. Am I glad to be getting out of that boat in death pack? Oh, these horses look fresher <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy. Uh, uh, saw him shoot a man, uh, drink with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy! <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, uh, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. Uh, played three card stud with him. Or was it Four Card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. <laughs> So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one.